Welcome to Siva 718. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for all the new subscribers we received lately. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you can always be updated anytime we release a video. Guys, in this video, what we're going to do is I have something special for you. This is a particular launcher that utilizes Plex to integrate your Plex server with the launcher itself. Now, if you don't have Plex, you can still use this launcher. It's very cool. It's very interesting and you can also use applications that you currently own to integrate some of the features it has as well we're going to jump right into it this right here is the uh, website of the launcher i wanted to go to the website so i could show you some of the features they have for you right here they have an option called take a tour now um as you can see by connecting your plex library this particular launcher which is called dispatch by the way generates recommendations populated with your media here's a plex server that's uh incorporated with this particular launcher let's hit next if you don't use plex it's not a problem they can show recommendations from your favorite shows and also right here they have a wallpaper mode so if you want to utilize a wallpaper you can do that as well and in this section they also show you that they have something called the app peak now it's a sneak peek at what's available in your favorite apps before you can even open them so basically if you highlight it it'll give you a sneak peek of some of the things it has available for that particular app the example here is youtube and also it says dispatch is loaded with features both familiar and new poke around and discover everything it has to offer so they also have a feature and request support area so if you click on that it'll bring you over to their um support area there's a little thread where you can um just add your request you know things you want to integrate so all the options here to uh just get some information and get some help if needed okay guys we're going to head over to the device i'm going to show you how to install this thing how to synchronize your plex server all the works stay tuned okay guys so with this example i'm going to use the own 4k pro that is the android device sold by walmart it's um pretty decent device so this is the one I'm going to be using now to get this particular launcher is very simple just head up to your your app section go into the search bar and it's a simple search all you have to do is type in the name of the launcher which is called dispatch do a quick search once you locate it you can just install it then open it up okay so uh when you first open the application, it's going to have an option here to get started. We're going to select that. They have recommendations you actually care about. So basically, same thing we read on the website. Let's hit next. Let's hit next again. Next again. And now we're going to select setup dispatch. Now, when you first set up, you have to sign in with the uh, email or with Google. Um, had some trouble with the signing with Google, so I'm going to use the sign in by email. I'm going to place the email here. And then I'm going to sign up. So that's what you do. Place the email. And sign right up. Okay, so after you place in your email and your password, you're going to select here, allow. And then there's also an option to sign in to Plex. Now, if you don't have Plex, you can hit continue to sign without Plex. But if you do have Plex, hit sign into Plex. Now, it's going to bring you over to the section where you have to go to your mobile device or your PC. Head over to this website. Sign into your Plex on the uh, website you're using. Make sure you do that first. Then head over to this website right here. And place in this code so it can sign you into your Plex. After you place your code in, let's give it a second for it to uh, sync up. Okay, so now it's gonna bring you over to your server. 
So what you can do is um, select the uh, groupings you want, then select continue. You also have the option to create a profile. So if you want to add a new profile, you can. Now remember, this is the profile for the uh, for the Plex as well. So when it's asking you about the profile you want to use, you can use the uh, current profile that you have. Or if you do have multiple profiles in your Plex, you can switch over to the multiple profiles in your Plex. So I'm switching over to a profile that I have. And I'm going to select now once I'm done to complete the setup. Once you have done that, they're going to give you more options. These options are to improve your experience. So you're going to enable these optional permissions to enjoy dispatch to the fullest device location. We're going to select that and then we're going to select while using the app. I would advise using the first option for you to get the optimum experience um, the background sync the Android TV sync and they also have a section called auto start so we're going to select that as well but in order to have this auto start work you would need to go into the accessibility area and select it from there in order for this to work let's do that so what we're going to do from here is we're going to scroll down head over to system and then from system, head over to accessibility, select that. We're going to scroll down again. We're going to look for the dispatch. The dispatch auto start service. We're going to select that. And we're going to enable that. And select OK. Once you have done that, you can head back. And then you can continue to dispatch to finish the setup. And as you can see, immediately my Plex has integrated with the launcher. Now this is the launcher right here. Now as you can see on the top they have this is basically like the shortcut apps, your favorite apps. If you select down you're gonna see what's trending and this is all your Plex. Okay. Let's head back up. You're gonna head over to the movie section as you can see this is the uh, the movie section right here. Alphabetical order. Head over to your television section if you have that. So the TV shows you have. And then also you can access your regular apps in this area right here. Now, um... Another cool thing is, for example, on my shortcut list, I have the uh, Play Store. Let's say I don't want to have that there. All I have to do is highlight the Play Store, select the uh, select button, hold it down, and then you can unpin it, and it will no longer be there. Uh, let's say you like to use uh, A and E. Let's hold that down. And we're going to pin the app. And now a &E is pinned. Now, if you don't want this app to be at the end, all you're going to do is scroll over. Hold down the button again. And um, you have options for the app. You have the enable sneak peek. And you also have the immersive mode. Now, this is the section where you can put the app in order. If I want to move a &E down, just select the up down button over here. Okay. And then you can also add other apps as well. Instead of uh, going to the app section, you can actually just do it from here. So let's say I wanted to add Disney. Just hit the hard button. Now select the back button. So you can see your changes. Now A and E move from the end to the beginning. And Disney Plus was added. Okay. Head back to the home section. Now from here, um, as you can see on the right side, it's still loading things. I believe this is your Plex service still loading. So give it time. And once that completes, you'll be able to see everything fully. But in the meantime, 
let me show you the sneak peek now this is the uh, Disney sneak peek this is the, uh, the Pluto the prime so this is how it looks on the sneak peek section it's really nice okay let's head over to the right you have the weather there you have sections and as you can see it's generating the metadata so that's basically your Plex meta metadata that is generated give it time to complete let's head over to the settings here's a general this is where you get your wallpaper now from here you can change how your um, launcher will look you can showcase your own wallpaper you can just use the default which is the meteor um, once you change it to wallpaper mode you select this and then you will select the wallpaper you can either use uh, your own wallpaper or you can use some sort of like uh, like a text something like that that you want to utilize but from the top right here this is how you select your wallpaper so if you have your wallpaper on your device already this is how you access it okay I'm gonna keep it at media and this is um, a section called personalized media feeds and basically it'll show you only the media that you want to see so you can just select it so if you want to see the app peak in this particular app you can select it on or off you can have it on the watch next in your home feed so that's pretty cool let's head down to uh, experiences as you can see it has the, the auto start profiles and connections so, so this is where you can manage your profiles this is where you can manage your connections okay so this is basically your connections for your um, Plex Media and um, you know you can choose the libraries that you want to show okay and not show your regular settings your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth and you can also just quit the uh, launcher you also have an option here called recent apps you have a sleep mode and also on top um, I didn't talk about it but this is your watch next section so um, right here they were watching this particular movie 59 minutes left if you want to continue to watch it so this is the watch next section which is pretty cool so basically what this does is it, it only gives you what you're into so if you're watching a particular show it's going to give you the information on that show then I advertising this is basically your own media you personalize it you don't have to be overwhelmed with advertisements and things that you don't want to see so you can control the application that way you can control the application in your settings you can have it take away you can have it add everything that you basically need is in this app this app is cool um, it's also a clock setting where you can set the, the time if you want it to be a uh, 12 hour or military time there's also the weather you can enable it you can choose the uh, appropriate degrees I'm gonna choose Fahrenheit head back and as you can see it changes to 72 degrees Fahrenheit right here on top so this app is really cool guys let me know your thoughts on it also guys um by the way if i select the home button because i selected the auto start the home button will always bring me back to the home of this launcher so this is how you set this launcher to be your launcher there's nothing complicated and i have to use a third-party app once i set it to auto start every time i hit the home button the application will bring me to the home screen of this launcher so let's say i'm in the uh in the app section and I select the home button it'll bring me back here so the launcher is set so that auto start um, in the accessibility section that's what that did for you so this is not complicated this application is working it's pretty cool guys it's one of the best I've seen out there if you don't have Plex um, your experience may not be as enjoyable but you can still use the applications you have 
if you use third party apps the uh the peak will work as well and it will also add to your um watch next section as well okay guys so you can use other applications not just plex now if you want to set up a plex server you have to have your own media on your device or whatever device you choose to be a server and that's all you really need if you guys need me to show you more about plex or how to use plex let me know down in the comments below but tell me your thoughts on this applications what do you think this app rates next to the uh, projectivity launcher which was a launcher that we just reviewed and did um last week another thing is this is only a two-week trial for this particular launcher so this launcher will last about two weeks give or take and then you're going to receive an email on how to purchase it it's only ten dollars and it's a lifetime key so it's still worth it but is it worth it over the projectivity launcher which is free so uh i don't know guys let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you thank you again for watching the video and i hope you enjoyed guys check out our new merch we do have the cut the cord t-shirt available for those who are interested and want to support the channel go ahead and check the description down below for your cut the cord t-shirt thank you again and thanks for watching thank you for watching if you have made it this far in the video guys like and subscribe to the channel i am going to give away a playstation portal to one lucky subscriber watching the channel now guys all you have to do is subscribe like the video um watch the video in its full entirety we're trying to get the watch hours up guys once we have the watch hours up to the point where we can get monetized we're going to give away a playstation portal so stay tuned continue to watch the videos eventually we're going to give out this playstation portal to the lucky winner thank you Thank <laughs> you.